Hello Jim, this is Karen from A1 Website Pro. I just wanted to give you a real quick tutorial and show you how to do WordFence. Um, when you log into your dashboard, if you look here on toward the left, you'll see WordFence right down here. Now under the WordFence menu, you'll click on Scan. Now once that br you click on that, it brings you to this window here. And you can see where it says Start a WordFence Scan if you want to run a new one, or you can see what the most recent one showed. Now if you scroll down toward the bottom, it'll show you where all the issues are. Um, this will tell you if you have anything that needs updated, any software, or if there's things that need deleted or restored. Now we'll look at this first one here. File appears to be malicious WP settings.php. Now you'll see it doesn't say delete here because um, this is a core file. But what it does have is to restore the original version. They can tell if anybody's made any changes to any of your files. So you'll click restore the original version of this file. And once you do that, you'll see down here it says WordFest is working, and then you get File Restored OK. And then you can just close that box, and you see the next file comes up that needs taken care of. Now, this is an odd file that has, somebody has somehow got programmed into your site. What you want to do is you see where it says Delete This File, Can't Be Undone. That's OK. You want to get rid of this because it is a bad file. This is something that's going to cause trouble with your programming. It could cause problem in your email server everything so you want to click delete this file and then again you'll see it's working and success deleting the file you close that out and it moves you on to the next one see this is another restore the original version we'll go ahead and do that it takes just a second for each one of these to process as you see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk you through this I'm going to go ahead here's another one to delete this is a bad file. Anything with an odd name before PHP, usually you won't see like gibberish file names like that. See this one, wp-config, that's a highly important. See, you do not ever, ever want to delete your wp-config.php. So I have to do something a little bit different. When you have that problem, um, it's probably best to contact us. Do not ever ever delete your WP config file because what that does is that connects your site to your database. So this is a highly important file you do not want to ever delete. Even though it says you can delete it, you do not want to do that. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go in and fix that one for you because that's something that somehow things have gotten into the code. And so you probably don't want to mess with that one too much if you ever have trouble with it, you know, just Give us a quick buzz and uh, we'll set that up for you. So I'm going to scroll past that for the moment. We want this. You see it's gibberish, just letters and a bunch of letters that don't say really anything in .php. You go ahead and delete that. That's a bad file. Okay. Now this is index.php. Index.php is another main file. You never want to delete index.php and it should not give you the option for that one because it is a standard file that's always in there. So you'll want to just restore the original version. Give it just a moment. Now I'm going to pause the video just for a moment because there is a long list of these so I'll take care of those and like I say the WP config um, you never delete that file that is your uh, configuration that connects everything but whenever you have trouble with that particular file just let us know and you know we can do a real quick fix on that um, so you know Jeep it's not going to be like the whole $55 or anything like that it's probably like maybe five bucks five ten bucks um, depending on how much damage has been done to it and how much we have to restore um, let me pause this and I'll come right back after I get through most of this list. Okay, so I got rid of most of the malicious files and restored the ones that needed repaired, um, except for the WP config. Like I say, that'll be going into the code. So the next thing you come to here is programs that need an upgrade. Now, most of these are all plugins. So what you'll do is you'll go over here on the left to where it says plugins and go to installed plugins. You can see there's five of them that need to be restored. Okay, so what we're going to do here is when you go into your plugins, you get the long list here and you'll say deactivate if it's activated or you'll say activate like this if it's not being used. Now you'll see a little yellow bar under the ones that need updated just like this. And all you got to do is click update now. It'll take a moment. You'll see it run. 
Um, this time varies depending on how big the plugin is, how many files it has, your connection speed. So what we'll just do is we'll go down through here. We'll update the next one. This is an anti-spam program. This is your contact form. Disable emails is important to have in there um, because that helps with your email server. Now it's Hello Dolly. This is just a junk plugin that's usually there from the beginning when WordPress is. This is nothing that you ever need to use. So when you have a, a just a blank plugin like that that's not used for anything, you definitely want to go ahead and delete these. Um, anything that you're not using because um, it just opens you up for updates that you aren't going to need on extra plugins. They'll give you notifications and then it also um, old plugins that aren't being used leave excess open doors for hackers to get into the back end. So you only want to keep what you're using, what's important to you, and you want to always keep it updated. It's not doesn't take very long as you can see. You just go through here and you click real quick just to update these programs. Now as you have different anti-spam things, WordFence is also another one that you know keeps off the malware and everything. Here you got another one. WordPress anti-spam is something you don't even use. It's just taking up space, giving you miscellaneous junk files on your server. You just want to delete that. And then finally your Yoast SEO. And this is a program that just helps you whenever you do write content to help you make sure that it's optimized as good as you can make it. Okay. Another place you can look for updates if you go up to where it says dashboard up here. You see this little updates link? That will tell you like if you ever need WordPress updated, if you have theme files. Um, the only thing you want to watch with theme files, if you ever need to update a theme, um, just double check that you don't have like an analytics code or anything like that. That One of those hasn't been. You can always ask and you know we'll let you know if, uh, if there's anything you need to watch for there. Now when we go back to WordFence, you click on WordFence, it just takes you to the main dashboard. If you want to run a scan, you click on Scan. And then uh, it'll prepare a new scan, problems found. Now you see we're getting down to where it's only one new issue to fix. And that is the WP config. And I'm going to go in and check on that for you. Here are some different things that it has come up with now. These are additional files. They didn't uh, have the malicious file content like this, but it does tell you that these are unknown files. It's strange to the program. It notices that you know they maybe don't belong. So you can just go ahead and delete those files. And you should be good with that. So we'll go through real quick and delete those. I'll pause the video while I complete that. Okay, so now we've come to a couple, the last couple that when you delete them, I either get an error, cannot find, or cannot be deleted. And it could be because it was also listed twice and it could have already been listed in the malicious. So what you want to do is you want to rerun your scan. So you come up here and you say start WordPress scan. And it says it's requesting a new scan. And sometimes it'll uh, take a moment to work. If you ever have any trouble, just refresh the page and start again. And then once it runs the next scan, it'll give you any new issues or find anything that maybe has not been removed yet and then you can start with that. If you have any problems with the program at any time, you can just let us know. It may take a little bit for this to run. You know, you can just leave the window open, let it do its thing. Um, and when it finishes, it'll tell you, you see as it goes through its processes over here, you see where it says success, or you may see a red link that tells you, you know, problems found. Whenever you have problems, you scroll to the bottom down here. And here it's starting to show whatever has a problem. So we come down here. That's the one that I'm going to be fixing in the code. And we'll try to delete this file here. It says couldn't delete because the issue does not appear to be a file related issue. 
So I will look into that in the code in, in your file system. I'll see if I can find it, if maybe it's uh, been removed or anything like that. If it does not have a problem and it's still there, um, then I can always ignore it like this. Or you can say you fixed the issue if it's something that you've done manually through your file system. If you ever need to know how to do that, you know, that's something you can contact us for. But I'll take care of these last files, get your reset up, but this is how you do it. And for the most part, you know, you don't usually have too many problems with it unless it's something that you have to go in and deal with hard code. And um, that can occasionally happen when you've been hacked, but you had 34 um, malicious files that had to have got, been gotten rid of and all that, and you had several updates. And so this was what was causing the trouble with uh, your site. And sometimes it's an old plugin that leaves a back door open that, you know, the person who created the plugin doesn't necessarily do that on purpose to for it to be hacked but you know when things are really old like you get in word or in wordpress rather um, sometimes hackers will use those old plugins and old things that they know or that they have found a back door to that they can get into websites um, but i uh, go ahead and try using this tool you know on a regular basis like i say even just once a month is fine you just go and do a quick cleanup of your site because um, you don't do a lot of regular adding of new material to your site, so that should be that should be plenty for you. And if you have any problems at all, just let us know. Thanks.